it going guys? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we are doing another Halal Mill. This particular one is a 2014 and this menu is beef roast with vegetables. All right, so we're working through a case of Halal Mills. We've given some of them away, uh, traded for some stuff. We still got about three or four left. So we're waiting on some other stuff to get here. So I thought, well, while it's sitting around, let's just go ahead and get one, one more knocked out. Let's go ahead and cut open from the back. Try not to slice our inside packages there. He's been really good. Some of the sides in the past have not been, they did not hold up very well. Uh, the mains are always good. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Well, I see they have the accessory pack is vacuum sealed in the in the main bag. It's all right. And these are made by Sapaco, Mullen, South Carolina. Like I said, overall, not bad. So first off, we have our main, which is beef roast of vegetables. And this has a manufacture date of 4168, so 168th day of 2014. We have a butterscotch pudding. And pudding has always been good on these. So we have production date of 4293. I'll keep you for your bunghole. We have all these little mystery packs of nuts and fruit or uh, mixes and trail mix stuff and all that kind of stuff. This is sweet and savory nut mix. Off to the side. This one is tropical trail mix. Looks like it has maybe some dates and fruit in it. We have a pack of brown matches. Brown matches should be red tipped. Yep. This whole package smells kind of old on the inside. The whole case smells kind of old actually. We have cheddar snack mix. We have chocolate tea. I don't think it'll really focus. It's too shiny. Chocolatey ship cookies. Actually, it says chocolate tea. T E Y. It's weird. We have tropical fruit punch. Beverage base powder. We have a accessory pack. Slice that guy open. It's already a little bit open from getting ripped earlier. An accessory pack, we have salt, which we're gonna use for a Flemish ration heater. We have a pack of pepper, we have two packs of sugar, we have a MRE issued standard spoon, we have some actual napkins, and we have our little wet wipe, or in this case, a fresh nap. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get these guys opened up. Open the chocolatey chip cookies first. Smell good. I don't smell like any compromise or anything. We have four, five, and six. Usually there's only four cookies in these little bags. And then next up we're gonna do our cheddar snack mix. I think a lot of the reason why these little foil packets don't last because the package is just super thin. So usually any kind of nuts, like this, usually these are all bad. And this one is no different. It smells like paint. It smells like the strongest, most foul paint you've ever smelled in your entire life. Is what it smells like. I won't pour the whole thing, it's only half of it. The thing's almost full. So we're gonna go ahead and do our tropical trail mix next. Pieces flying everywhere. So this has, what all they got in here? Papaya, sugar obviously. Uh, pineapples, yellow number five, that's not good. Uh, banana chips, coconut, almonds. It don't smell too bad. It smells a little weird, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Okay, we'll put that guy right there. 
And the very last, I think we're just going to do this. We have our sweet and savory nut mix. I think the last ones they had of this was not good anymore. Even by the wildest stretch of imagination. And this one is no different. It is definitely not good. Not very much stuff in there, actually. And I just, I'm not sure that the nuts are actually bad. It smells like whatever preservative they had, or even the plastic wrapper. Almost like something with the plastics has come off or somehow flavored the food. So without any further ado, let's go and get our main going. So it could be heating up. Piece of glue on her. I thought it was a piece of food, but it wasn't. I always glue the tops of these in these halal rations a lot different. They're always difficult to open. We're just going to slice it down the top. Try to anyway. I'm not cutting the bag open. So this is our beef roasted vegetables. This has uh, 180 calories per serving. Uh, the protein is 22 grams of protein. 870 milligrams of salt. So quite a lot of salt in it. Pretty solid. You can feel a, a large piece of meat in there. Let's go and get our ration heater out and open up. And get it cooking. And we'll do our drinks and undo our pudding while this is doing its thing. And go ahead and open a bottle of water up. Take a drink of it. So it's not so full. I'm going to go ahead and pour some in the top until it's up to a line. It's roughly good. And find a little pack of salt. And we have a special way of doing this. First thing we're going to do is make sure the element is saturated. It is. We're going to put our meal on top of it. We're going to grab our box that we cut the top off of. And we're going to cram it down the side. And we're going to leave the top of it open just like that. Seems like it works a little better. Set that totally flat, not against anything, so the element stays in water and let it do, let it do its thing. Usually it takes about, I don't know, these newer ones, about two to three minutes before it starts doing much. Some of the last videos, a lot of you guys were getting on my case about the halal meat, and you said it was, or what, what was the deal? I said it was like a sacrifice. Well, kind of is. I did some research where I made this video and basically take a knife, not much different than this one, and while the animal or goat or sheep or whatever it is still alive, they cut its throat and it thrashes around for five or even ten minutes sometimes and they just stand there and watch it. But they say a prayer over it and try to calm it down first, but obviously if you're going to slice its throat, it's not going to be calm. I don't know what that's all about, but... Not really my business to get into it. You guys do whatever you want. Whatever you believe is fine with me as long as it's not affecting me directly. Go open this guy up. Our ration heater is raging over here. You can see the steam barreling out of it. it smells terrible. It smells like hot plastic. Our butterscotch pudding. We are going to knead this guy up a little bit here. Make sure the camera's still going. And we did, it's going to tell you, we did find some more 1996, 1997 rations. Uh, we have actually many of them. Try to buy the whole case, but we couldn't get that done. But we're getting close with the ones coming in. We almost have the whole menu for 1996. So hopefully 
they've been well kept and they're good. We'll see once they arrive here. We know we didn't get screwed. We'll reveal the cellar. See that butterscotch pudding smells pretty good. Don't smell bad at all. You see it or not? Why is the camera so dark? I do not know. Maybe it just looks dark. A lot of times I'll think it's super dark and I'll go to download it and it'll look perfect. So we're just going to hope this is one of those times, right? The butterscotch pudding. It looks like somebody pooped on the tray, but hey, what are you going to do? It does taste and smell very good or the past past we have had. Put that over there. And I think at this point in time, we are ready to do this drink. Let's go ahead and grab a glass. Let's cut the corner of it open. And we know from past experience, especially with the Tropical Punch, you don't want to mix it too rich. It gets like an oily film on top, and it's a pretty ugly situation. I'm going to do about half of this pouch. which is about that much. Check on a ration heater one more time. I've been flipping these bags around. Crazy hot, holy crap. Uh, just to make sure that the whole ration gets heated evenly. Because, like it's doing right now, the one side is crazy hot, the other side is still cold. So we'll flip that around, put that back over there, let it continue doing its thing. We'll get our water out. A room temperature water. Fill it up to about right there. A lot of sugar in the bottom of this thing. We'll give it a little mix. Let her sit. And the time we're ready, we mix it one more time and it should be good to go. All right, so our ration heater is still smoking after about probably 15 minutes. It's still crazy hot. Our pouch is also nice and hot. I'll go ahead and knead that up just a little bit. Fill a huge chunk of meat inside there. Let's go ahead and get it all squished down. We're going to cut her open and squeeze it out like toothpaste and try not to get it all over us, which we're doing a pretty good job of doing just that. There we go. Set that over there. It smells good right off the bat. It smells like pot roast. It doesn't smell like preservatives real strong. It doesn't smell metally or nothing of the sort. So let's go ahead and get it on the tray. Oh man, look at that. It's a pretty good slab of beef for an MRE. Let's set that over here out of the way. Is there a napkin? Put it on my hands here. And before we do that, we get our spoon all dirty. Let's give this guy one more real good mix. Ooh, got a chunk on the back side of it. So I don't like using the same spoon for the MRE stuff because it makes it taste like the other entree ordinarily in Everyday use, I wouldn't care, but for the video wise, I'll be able to explain to you guys what it actually tastes like, and not that it has a big clump of sugar on it or whatever from the drink or from a different dish. That being said, let's go ahead and crank her open. This side was a lot hotter. Let's go ahead and just hack it off that end. Definitely a chunk of meat for sure it looks a little bit processed on that usually it's I don't think it is I think it's just the way it cut yeah it's just the way it cut 
and just a big chunk of straight meat. Let's go ahead and try just a piece of the meat first. Hmm. Pretty good. Not bad at all, actually. A big chunk of mushroom. We have some little cute potatoes on there. I'll try that. It's actually not half bad. Nicely seasoned. Tastes pretty good. Let's try a little bit of her fruit punch after we ate that. Perfect, perfect mix. Any more would have been too strong. I'll try the other stuff, but first, while well, this is still nice and smoking hot, then the slab of that beef. Really good. Well, I can smell this <laughs> over everything. I can smell that paint like smell from that trail mix. That was cheddar snack mix. You got a little goldfish in it. It smells just brutal. Yep, it's pretty gross, actually. The Tropical Trail Mix, let's go ahead and try that next. A big banana chip in it. We got, um, what was it all? What was it all? I can't remember. Let me find the package to it. Papaya. Chunks of papaya. We got some raisins. Tastes a little bit weird, a little bit like this, but it's not too bad. Got a piece of coconut. Some almonds. I think it's only papaya. It's a little, a little funky in that. See, our last piece here is what we got. Knocking everything on the floor is our sweet and savory nut mix. Is this guy right here? This guy stinks. That smells like something that is not edible at all. I have a corn nut in it too. I mean, you could eat it, I guess. It tastes like it most definitely kill you. Ugh. I don't know. Probably definitely kill you. Let's go ahead and save our cookies for last. Let's go move on to your butterscotch pudding. Butterscotch pudding looks and smells good. It's very good. There's chunks of sugar in it, though. I was supposed to have that or not. But it's not bad. Let's move on to the chocolatey chip cookies. I mean, really, though, the only thing wrong with the cookies are a little bit hard. Other than that, it's pretty decent. The whole meal is not bad. I think that it's, if they would have put this stuff in different bags... I think we'd have been golden. I think the whole meal would have been perfect still. Probably for many, many years to come. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That is all for the 2014 Halal Ration. That was beef roast with vegetables. Overall, a very good ration. So yeah, guys, if you liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Also, please subscribe. And notice again in our analytics that only roughly 6% of people subscribe, watch the videos. 
<laughs> so 94% of the subscribers are not watching or not subscribed to the channel, I should say. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, click the little bell, make sure you're getting an alert so we put a new video out, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Strikes and bright stars.